since the release of uh, FS2020, with the helicopter update, some of the automatically assigned axis needs to be adapted to work properly with the Cabri and the Bell 407. We're showing a few of the steps that you can do. If you go to your control options and select the PFT Puma, if you want the image here to be displayed instead of the wrongly displayed image, you'll have to navigate to your setup folder within um, Steam. And once you're there, on our computer, it was on the common Steam apps, Microsoft Flight Simulator package, etc. As you can see from uh, the path, you should find a Puma X folder. And in this Puma X folder, you'll have a layout PNG with a Xbox controller picture that we can replace with the correct one. You can download this file from our website. I'll show in a bit. If you only intend to configure axis, you can uh, make sure you have the filter set to all in order for you to find all axes. Then um, you want to assign the helicopter throttle because by default on the preset, uh, the general throttle is assigned and it will interfere with the collective setting. So make sure to assign your throttle to the helicopter throttle axis. In a similar way, in order for the collective to work, you need to assign the correct axis to the collective axis. Once that's done, uh, make sure you remove any uh, axis assignment from the regular throttle you can double check that just by entering throttle and making sure none of the axes have an assignment. This way you'll be able to uh, correctly control collective and throttle. There's one thing about the uh, Cabri G2. Uh, the Cabri G2 has a governor. That means at some point the governor would automatically take over and you might want to assign a button to the switch off option and otherwise the governor in the simulator would fight the position of the uh, throttle in your on your controls we are working with asobo and microsoft to find the best way to um, configure that automatically and we'll publish an update as soon as possible we are also going to publish the preset XML file, which is really the automatically um, axis assignments that are done once you plug uh, the Puma X into your computer and fire up Flight Simulator. This XML file will as automatically assign some of the buttons and some of the axes will publish that on our website shortly. Feel free to visit uh, the website and get it from there. If you do end up creating um, as an extra profile like we did here, PFT Puma FS2020, the name really doesn't matter. You can do the name you want where we assigned extra buttons and function you can do that by using the profile manager and saying create a new profile if you want to search for that profile you'll find it under a remote folder these numbers here might be different on your pc but the path would be the steam user data and somewhere in there you'll have a remote folder and under that remote folder, you'll have an input profile. If you open that with a standard um, text editor, you will find the same axis assignment and button assignments. And you can see the name here. If I change that name to FS20 or FS and save that, you will instantly 
instantly see the effect in here. So you can see that this is the same um, the, the place where all those assignments are basically going into. And you can also of course then copy the XML file into this remote folder if you prefer to use like an extra profile instead of editing the default profile for all um, assignments. Alright, we hope that helps and we'll be in touch as soon as we get an update from Asobo or Microsoft uh, to streamline and automize um, the assignment and the setup of the controls. We wish you lots of fun flying!